G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, Antonio just will not shut up in his own comments. I guess he's allowed to. Well, he's probably either desperate or he actually wants to know how could that rocket launch and all that bright light and all that sort of stuff. But I think he's really got a bad case of scale fail. What Antonio didn't do, which of course I did do, was go and have a look and say, well, where are those, where did that rocket get launched? It was Baikonur in Russia. And guess what's downrange of that rocket launch area? Absolutely nothing. It's out in the middle of nowhere because you don't want to drop rockets on people and cities. So all those lights aren't cities, Antonio. They're just small buildings. They're not much at all. Again, scale fail. So, not a problem. Yet again. Okay, Antonio. I mean, of course, the burden of proof is not on me at all because I'm not the one who's trying to change the status quo. If you want to make an extraordinary claim, you better be the one with the extraordinary proof. But, and of course, that extraordinary proof is not Santa, by the way. So, you do understand that the rocket was a Russian rocket, right? I don't know. And you do understand that it was launched from Baikonur, right? I don't know. And it was trying to go to the ISS, right? I don't know. And it was filmed from the ISS, okay? I don't know. And the ISS passed straight over Baikonur because they were playing catch and kiss, right? I don't know. So the ISS is looking down straight over where the rocket's going to go, right? I don't know. So that is the downrange part rocketry launch area, which is going to be very desolate because you don't want to drop rockets on people or anything, right? I don't know. So there's no big cities or anything in that zone. They're just little, small lights. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. You got it? I don't know. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Oh, poor Antonio. You got all worked up, but you forgot to think, man. Think. There is no cities downrange of a rocket launch facility. Can you have a guess why? I don't know. Oh, and as for the amount of light, have you actually looked at Red's rhetoric and the rocket launch and see just how much freaking light those things chuck out when that huge rocket burns away? Heaps. And enough of the Iron Man fallacy. That's not going to pass muster, mate. Come on, we're scientists here. We're doing science. It's not just let's look at a video. Reminds me of when Starman, you know, when Elon Musk popped his little car up in space and everyone said, oh, that looks fake. That looks fake. Guess what? No one had ever seen one before. So tell me, Antonio, how many rocket launches have you seen from space? Right, zero. Oh, sorry, this one, one. So this is your only frame of reference, correct? I don't know. Oh, and of course, all your parallax problems and everything. You do realize this is taken with a large zoom lens, don't you? Which sort of amplifies everything, yeah? I don't know. Oh, look, and I did do something bad. I forgot to add my list of things that Antonio has failed at. So here I've modified it and added, doesn't understand shadows, doesn't understand sunrises, and now doesn't understand, what do we say, rocket launches? Yeah, why not? Doesn't understand rocket launches. And of course, Antonio, you haven't actually explained how that rocket launch, the one that I've given you at the end there with Red's rhetoric, it's seen from four different angles, how can it be, Red's is in the full dark, then the rocket goes up and it's dark, 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 and next thing, it's in light. Right above his head, it's in light. Do you see? Do you see? Okay, so if you like that, how about you click and share and subscribe and be the first to get in on the next fun little adventure into destroying the flat earth. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to literally destroy this little thing here.